computer. There we go. Uh, so welcome to this, this double whammy Facebook live video thing versus the podcast thing. I'm so sorry for this morning's mess up, but I'm so glad that we can finally just talk. So the plan is that we're going to share this um, a bit later today anyway. So I'm so glad. Pupi, you know what? I spoke to Kim about you and I know Ian Kennedy that works with me with our search tool has, has interviewed you and Lily has spoken about you and they all just said to me, you've got to meet this man. He is freaking next level. He is amazing. So if you don't mind just starting <laughs> all over again and, and just tell us a little bit about yourself and where you grew up and how you, how you arrived here because they told me things about you and and I mean, the, the, the guy that interviewed you from the ENCA said you should be the um, disability poster boy or, or the poster boy for people with disability or other. And they're all just raving about you and said about um, how much you've overcome and you've got this amazing um, public health system app thing that you've created and looking after your family. And so there's so many things. And, and, and then they said, oh, you has got a PhD in chemical engineering. I was just like, who's this person? So, <laughs> so who are you and how did you get <laughs> Oh, that's super kind, Marika. Um, yeah, my, my, my story is quite simple. It's actually a story of a KZM-born uh, boy from Durban. Uh, mm -hmm. I was born into a very big family uh, in a place called Klaarwater. So it's a small township next to one of the bigger townships of Chatsworth. Um, my mother and father just had big dreams, especially my mom, so I call her the protagonist of my childhood. So even though I was born with a disability, she named me Mbomelelo, which is in, in, uh, when translated from Zulu to English, it means success. And she had this grand idea that this kid with a disability who might be seen as uh, a child born out of black magic or witchcraft is going to make himself a success one day. Uh, and I won't disappoint her gene. And I hope I haven't up until this point. Um, mm. So we lived in the townships. My dad got a really good job as a policeman in the suburbs, uh, ended up uh, basically coercing my parents to take out a second mortgage uh, so that they could uh, fit the bill for one year's worth of primary school. And in that year, the essence was that I proved myself and then get a scholarship uh, throughout my journey for primary school. So I managed to do that, went to Sanya Primary uh, School until grade seven, uh, went to Kloof High School in grade eight, and then met a guy in my grade eight year that was at Kersney College, uh, Devlin Tayak, and I really liked the way he conducted himself. So I managed to coerce my mom for a third mortgage on the house. And I told her that she must give me two months uh, at Kersney College and I'll prove myself worthy if she pays for two months. She, she stupidly enough took some faith, did that, got into Kersney College, uh, ended up in the top five academically, ended up provincial colors in soccer and athletics and many different sporting codes, which led me to UCT where I finished my undergrad in chemical engineering, moved on to my master's, and now finishing off my doctorate in the same discipline. That is freaking amazing. Listen, and Kim shared with me, she said that you've, you've won so many prizes over the past few years, it is like a joke. She says that you <laughs> be like the best athlete almost every year. She just said to me, you've got to meet this man, he's like Superman, he's, he's yeah. So tell me about that. What, what is it that the UCT has recognized in you? Um, yeah, they've been very sweet. I've, I think one of us has frozen. Oh, there oh, you are again. Uh, I've, I've, I've been the UCT sports person. Yeah, UCT sports person of the year for Five times running. I, I, I think there's a bit of a Are delay. Yeah, I heard that bit. I got it that you had it for five years running, which is amazing. And <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, UCT is um, a sports person of the year five times running since I basically started with para sports actually in 2015. I've been named uh, Maryland Guardian's top 200 young South Africans. I've been named uh, News 24's 100 young Mandela's for resilience. I've won the Western Cape Sports uh, Sportsman with a Disability of the Year and obviously several other prizes. Uh, but that's that's the team effort. It's, it's definitely not me. I just uh, happen to be the person who ends up uh, going up for the prize. <laughs> yes, and you're very humble and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I know that, because um, I was saying this morning, we've, we've developed the search tool, the sports tool, and we were very, very blessed because we've got Lazon and all those really cool and Brandon and you on, on as part of this process where we, we interviewed you and just to see, because you guys are such phenomenal characters and, and subsequently we've now developed um, a, a, dis, a, a disability and trauma sort of tool where it's about really saying how you're dealing with your own disability. But what I wanted to talk to you about is awesome. in your experience with the sports school tool, because this is your thing, right? So you, you're an athlete, you're very bright, you're so well-rounded. So I want to ask you, what came out of that conversation with Ian for you? What sort of struck you or what can you remember? How was it for you to unpack that tool? I think it was fascinating because it, it seems as though as you're going through the questions that these are everyday questions one asks, but uh, as you are actually reflecting back on the feedback as to what the, your answers mean for the performance that you are going to have from a training perspective, from leading up to a Paralympic Games, uh, I think the biggest insight for me is that there's still a huge mental aspect to the sports that we haven't, uh, uh, you know, accounted for in, mm -hmm. in, in its realist terms, because the sports has developed, you, you know, it used to be go run your heart out and whatever you do, that's fine. Uh, then it went to planning and cycles. Then it's about what you're eating. And I think the level we're at at the moment and what the tool has shown is that there's a huge mental a strength barrier to external variables that influence the way in which you train, the way in which you feel, the way in which you can actually execute uh, your sporting code to the best of your ability. So it was amazing to just go through those different disciplines and those different aspects and highlight what it is that my coach needs to look out for. And also the things that have actually been bothering me and affecting my performance that I hadn't mm -hmm. acknowledged to the extent that I needed to so that I can mm -hmm. deal with it. Oh, well, that's amazing. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate it. And it's been such an absolute gift to have you in a conversation. And I know that you've also got to run. And, but I, I really, really, really appreciate the inspiration that you are. And by just by showing up and doing your thing. And, and I, I want to say to you, you know, from, from a boy that came from Clarvard that until where you now and what you've achieved. How old are you now? 26. Yes, it is freaking phenomenal. And um, I've got a boy that's an, a, 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 he's aspiring you. to become a chemical engineer. He's, he's, he's 15 years old and turning 16 what? and going to grade 10 next year. And I'm going to make him watch this recording so he can hear your story and the stuff that you had to do and how you cursed your mum to take a third bond and all these things. It is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. <laughs> you just own your life and the hope that she's given you by me, naming you, you know, you are successful. You're going to be successful. I think it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I hope you, you appreciate it, love her so much. That's, <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for the tool, Marek, and allowing us to be a part of this first journey. And hopefully a lot more athletes and a lot more sporting teams are actually going to take on that challenge to really hone in what it is to be an athlete and how to better your performance through search. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and I really appreciate your time and effort in making this happen after our struggle <laughs> earlier. I really appreciate it. Thanks, baby. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> the technology. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Enjoy Cheers, your video and Bye. we'll catch up soon. Awesome. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.